Hello everyone, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and today I want to talk about unsubscribers. The reason why people might unsubscribe to a video or, or channel and it's in regards to I had lost three subscribers. I had gotten to 70 subscribers and I made a, a cool little video celebrating that fact that I got to 70 subscribers and then I made another video the other just yesterday and and after that video I went back to look the look and yeah I had lost another subscriber now mind you I don't know if it's actually the uh, YouTube itself that's doing that that's kind of deleting a subscriber on me or if somebody's actually going in and unsubscribing now when it comes to unsubscribing I don't do it I have a hundred and eighty five subscriptions and I keep them all I, I I may not watch all the channels and all the channels and a, and a lot of the channels don't post anymore and haven't posted in a in quite a while but I still like having the option of looking over and seeing and seeing if maybe I want to watch a video or two from th those channels I never know if I see a topic or or a cool concept that I want to check out I probably might check it out but most often I I don't but for me to unsubscribe to somebody I don't know maybe I sh I would do them a favor by unsubscribing if I'm not watching any of their videos because it it'll help them with the algorithm better and 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 having a more of a of a hardcore audience to their channel as with mine so I'm not bitter at all or, 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 or mad or anything that people are unsubscribing it's kind of expected in some ways because because I do only want as you may know I do not want to I want to earn I do want to earn all my subscribers all my viewers I want the hardcore, the hardcore mosters, the one who's going to stick with me through thick and thin, no matter what content I, I, I put out. Those are the types of people I really want on my channel. If for some reason you don't like my channel, like that you thought it was going to be a good channel, and I, I see, I want to know if if you are unsubscribing, I would love to know why you're unsubscribing. Just so that I have an idea of of what it is that I could probably improve, or uh, did I say something to offend you? That's what I would love to know because I'm not sure exactly why people would unsubscribe. Because I haven't, I have not unsubscribed to any of my channels that, that I'm subscribed to, and also I want I want to give a little idea of also when it comes to likes and dislikes. I never press dislikes on anybody unless unless is I see that it's really abusive or or really or really insulting like that something I really disagree with but most often I I don't even want to give a dislike I I, I won't if I don't like a, a comment I'll just not give it a like that's pretty much it so that's just me. I understand why most people would want to dislike or 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 even cancel a subscription with me, because I'm not going to be for everybody. And I had said in a in a previous episode, a couple of episodes ago, I want people to before you subscribe, go and watch a few of my older videos. Make sure that you're that you are going to be a hardcore moster as what I call my fans. And it was give that word was given to me by one of my fans. And I I love that calling it a moster. Now, I'm wearing this shirt in particular. It's from uh, Gin and Tonic Entertainment. I I have not watched any of their video, his videos in a long time. And why do I have a shirt of it? This was when COVID happened and I had gotten a computer for the first time. Basically, not this computer. It was another computer that eventually broke on me. But I was not as familiar with the whole internet thing and YouTube and stuff. And I was just 
pretty much just discovering it from the from the ground up and and I was kind of getting into this you know the whole interactive aspect of it it was kind of for me a, a weird but a wonderful novelty at the time and I mean this is in this is at the beginning of when COVID happened and and I found myself out of a job for a few months. I was going some. I was going through a, 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 a mini depression. Things were looking bleak. And when I started getting the 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 government supplement money, which was which was ex outrageous, I wasn't expecting to get so much. I used a little bit of that money to get a Patreon with this with 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 G and T Entertainment. Also, I have another channel called uh, GNT Reactions. The GNT stands for uh, for gin and tonic. And this guy, who goes by Casual Cheater, as his call name, he would say he would like say sheesh a lot, and he go, "Come on, let's go." Why I no longer am a Patreon with him is because there were some complications. I was because I was paying for the the the. The Patreon with uh, with those uh, those Visa gift cards. I would buy a, a gift card or two, and I would use it. And if you make a little bit of a donation here and there when his videos dropped on Sundays, because he would do like a three-hour broadcast, like a live broadcast where he would react to to songs and videos that you send him. But I found after by. Like, the third month when it came around, and I used the card to get to, to renew the uh, the the Patreon, and I I don't want to tell you how much I was paying for the Patreon because it's a little bit embarrassing and ridiculous, and I was stupid and I shouldn't have been paying that much for for, for that service, but I was really getting into the vibe and and the whole interacting and. And then we would even sometimes go on discourse after and, and I would be able to chat with them personally, like one on one with do video and stuff. And, it, and I was getting a kick out of that I because I had not been used to that. I was not on the Internet before that. Not like not like that. So I kind of went a little overboard. But that third time when I, I bought that, you know, that gift card and I tried to pay for the Patreon. For some reason, it didn't go through. Like there was a complication, and plus also there was a mod that was helping him, helping Casual Cheater behind the scenes. That wasn't that I don't know. There is a certain I was detecting a certain kind of uh, Karen attitude, be you know that she was putting putting on. And it kind of rubbed, it started, also started rubbing me the wrong way. And, and so I didn't, I just, I had lost that money. I had lost that money that I was supposed to be paying that Patreon with for the third month. And it didn't happen. And so I just, Zach, I screw it. it I'm getting too many, uh, too many complications and it's not as fun as it was the first couple of months. So I kind of. I kind of stopped that Patreon, but hey, I'm still, I'm still a subscriber to his channel regardless. So, and I haven't seen anything from this guy in a while. It's once in a blue moon every every few months that he will do something, and and I will see it there. But I don't know. I just don't feel right clicking on and stuff and interacting. I have, I, I should have. At that time, I should have been Patreon with the Trash Talkers because they I saw them at the same time and I was watching their videos at that time, and I should have went with the Trash Talkers instead instead of instead of uh, this guy because because yeah I, I get much better service and much better recognition from the Trash Talkers than I ever really kind of did with this guy. And I mean, not to take away from his content. I mean, if you're into those type of mu music reactions that he was doing, then good for you. But his prices were his prices on on Patreon was just a little outrageous. I was getting a pretty big tier, and and it was, I, I I I regret it now. I I do. 
I really should have went with the trash talkers in the first place rather than this, this guy. So that that's pretty much what I wanted to say about unsubscribers. I understand. I do understand why you would unsus unsubscribe to my channel if you are. I, I'm I'm hoping it's it, yeah because I do want my core audience i want the people who i know will be viewing each week or each day when i post and who are going to be dedicated to to where i'm going to be going in the future i made promises on this channel and i'm going to do everything in my power to stick to those promises that i want to improve my content i want to get the camera outside and show you a wider world and everything and and upgrade as much as i can getting a new computer getting getting whatever i can so i'm hoping that you like my content and are willing to stick around and be a true moster for those who have unsubscribed i'm sorry that i wasn't able to to please you in the way that you that you needed so after saying all that i'm going to leave it here and say be safe Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everyone.